Right, okay, uh, you're 13. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to make a navigation macro. Okay, you need to go through and you need to do all the ones I do on here. Okay, and the macro is used to create functionality on your forms that you'll develop after this. Okay, you have to use a macro to do the buttons not the code that the wizard creates in the forms. If you use that, you don't get the marks, okay? You must create this object that I'm gonna go through now, okay? So watch this first, and then go into yours, and then you can always go back into it and watch it again if you if you get a bit stuck, okay? So, to make a macro, we go to the ribbon at the top here in the create. Mine looks slightly different. Um, it's a, a later version of Access than you've got, but it's essentially, the same, just slight sort of different appearance. So we've got the create menu and you need to look for macro. Okay, so find macro and click on that. And you've got it starts and it opens up a new one, gives it the default name macro one, and you've got all these other bits of information down here in the action catalog on the right hand side. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to click on sub macro over here. Okay, so you've got the sub macro part here, and go to this drop down menu. And you've got all these different um, functions within the macro. Okay, it's a bit different to Excel, you don't record actions, they're already set up for you, you just assign properties to them. Okay, so this probably is a little bit easier. So you can see things like you can do an open form macro, so you can it'll open something up, an open query macro. So instead of double clicking over here, you can use these. You then attach them to buttons and objects within Access. Um, to, to create functionality and to create a user interface. Um, so we're going to do the records um, macro mainly to start with. Go to records. Okay, so we're going to make navigation buttons for our system. So we click on go to record. Okay, and we've got all these different um, options here. You can you can ignore all of these except for this record one here. Okay, you can ignore all of those. Okay, my bad, I haven't actually named my sub macro, so it's lost there. So when I create sub macro, okay, you need to go up into here, and we're going to do a next record. So that's what you can do as well, exactly the same, next record. And that's what it's called. And we go to the drop down list here, like I just showed you, a little bit too early. Um, we go to the record one, okay. This is alphabetical, if I find it, go to record, and at the moment we've got next. You can see in the drop down list there's lots of different ones, we'll use these in a second, and we've got that. So the sub macro called next record just does a next record. I mean, you can call it anything you like in you, but you want it to be, you know, accurate, because you're going to assign it afterwards. And you've done, you've done the first sub macro. If you click over here again, and you get your... Um, your next sub macro, see it builds underneath sub macro here. We go to, we'll do previous record. So, previous on this one there, exactly as you did pre before. Go to record, and instead of being next, forget this stage, just go into here and do previous. So, you've got two little sub macros crawled back there. That's fine. Double click over here, add another sub macro and go down. So we can do now a say a first record. For a first record button, add action for first record. We've got the drop down list, go to record, have a look here, we've got first there. Okay. So it starts building up. Okay, so we've got this big long macro going up. So first, opposite of first is last. So now we'll do a last record. So we need a new sub macro. Okay, last record in here. Um, I could scroll further, but I can't. Click in here and go to record uh, there. And we'll choose last in here. So what we got left on all of these, we've got a go to. Record and a new. Okay, so let's have a look at doing those a second. So go to the last one here. We'll have another sub macro and we'll do new record here and scroll down, add new action, 
in here, go to record, always defaults to next, so we we'll choose new there. So now we've got new record, and I'll do the last one in the go to records one, which was go to record and add new action in here, go to record, and this sub macro, and we've got go to there. So these are our navigation buttons within this this macro. Okay, so we've got all of those set up. We do need some others as well, so take a note of these. Okay, and I'll go through them. It's really important because when you come to doing your user guide, you need these buttons on your forms. We need a button to print. We need a button to save. Okay, and we need a button to delete records. So let's go and have a look at doing those. So we need three more in here. So we go to sub macro, so I set print um, record. I'll put a list of these on Edmodo with this video as well of all the ones you need. Okay, so you can go back and refer to that whilst you're building this macro. And if you go in here, okay, so many now and they do add to it, I forget, but I'm pretty sure it's it should there. Do print preview because otherwise it just throws it straight to the, to the printer, okay, and it's going to block up the print queue. So we'll do a print preview. For everything, and there's a print record there. Um, sorted. So next one, sub macro. Let's do um, delete record here. So we've got a new sub macro called delete record, and we jump into this one. Drop down list here. There it is. Delete record on its own. That's all you need for that. They're already pre-recorded, so like I say, it's a little bit easier than Excel. And lastly, we need save record. So nearly done, save record, and the last sub macro, so we go down here, into the drop down list, pretty sure, I think that's what it's called these days, there we go, save record, pretty easy, and that's all your sub macros then in the list. If you see anything else in there you think you want to use, that's fine, I'm no problem with that. So we've got next, previous, first, last, new, go to record, Print, delete, and save. Okay, so once you've got all that up here, okay, don't click on run or or anything else. Okay, go up into your file menu, um, or you can just close it down and it's going to ask you to save it. You want to be calling it something like um, navigation or buttons or or anything like that. Okay, when you do it, so I'm going to save up here. Um, I'm going to call it navigation macro. Navigation macro, click OK, and you'll have an extra object on the left hand side here. Um, it's just the way I got it set up at the moment, okay? That you can't, you don't get to see that in this new one, but you'll see it on yours there, okay? And close that down, okay? And so that's how to make a navigation macro. It should only take you about, there it is, look, it's popped up now. Um, it should only take you about 10 minutes to do that, okay? So Thank you very much for watching and get on with it. Thank you.